everyone, in this episode of HubFuel, we're going to be talking about the Pandadoc integration with the HubSpot CRM. Out of the box, Pandadoc is known as the giant when it comes to CPQ or otherwise known as sending proposals, contracts, or obtaining e-signatures out of the box. By harnessing the power of integrating your Pandadoc instance with HubSpot, it allows you to send contracts, send proposals, and obtain e-signatures within minutes because you can leverage the data you already know in your CRM with variables and personified tokens. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the most out of that. Before we get started, it's important you know that out of the box, there is a HubSpot certified app and it is available on any Pandadoc subscription that has either a business per user, an enterprise per user, or free e-signature plans. Out of the box on HubSpot, it's available with the free tools, the marketing hub, the sales hub, service hub, CMS, operations, on pretty much all of them from store to upwards, or if you have CMS, you'll need professional upwards as well at the time of recording. In terms of what this integration will give you, it's gonna give you a wide host of information and data that's gonna sync between the two systems. It's gonna allow you to sync your Pandadoc templates to within HubSpot, so you've got some. It's gonna allow you to use deal properties within Pandadoc. It's gonna allow you to use contact properties within Pandadoc, as well as company properties as well. What this integration will also offer you is it will give you timeline information. So when someone opened quotes, when someone put an e-signature down onto the actual HubSpot timeline as well. Moreover, it will allow you to use contacts in your CRM to send as recipients to the actual, for the actual Pandadoc. If you match all of that and it sounds like it's a good fit for your use case, let's get into it. So in order to actually install the app, it's very straightforward. Just find the portal you want to integrate with, make sure you match the HubSpot subscriptions and just press install app in the top right hand corner, which will sync your CRM data with your Pandadoc data as well. From there, you can actually head into Pandadoc and down the left hand side, you're gonna find an option for templates and you can actually select the template that you want to utilize in HubSpot or otherwise just make a bit more dynamic. If you click into the actual contract that you want to edit, you can see here that you can build it out using custom uh, modules, so text, images, video, tables, pricing, tables, table of contents, page breaks, and smart content as well. But now that you've integrated your actual HubSpot instance, you'll see along this right-hand side, you'll have an option for variables, and you'll be able to start seeing all your custom variables that have come from HubSpot, and you'll be able to see where they're actually being used. With So you can see here that deal ID, which comes from HubSpot, deal.contract store at C. All of these are internal names for your properties within HubSpot. And by standardizing this in your actual pipeline and continuing to obtain it, it only allows you to send contracts quicker and more slicker as a result. Once you've actually drawn up your template to look how you want it to be and you've inserted all the variables where you need to, it's otherwise relatively straightforward. You can actually just jump into a deal, as you can see on screen, and you can see that down the left-hand side, we've standardized the way we enter data from our finance system to make sure that we can sync these to Pandoc quotes and approvals that we then send out using the integration. Down the right-hand side of the deal, you will then find an option for Pandadoc, which you can either collapse or expand as necessary. From here, you can press actions and press show the Pandadoc tokens, which will on screen show you for that deal in particular, how many values you have from both the company record as well as the deal record, which will basically show you how the data is going to sit in the actual template or the actual quote when you're going to go out to send it. So you can see here I've got the test hub fuel as the actual deal name, I've got the deal stage, I've got the deal ID. These are all the property values I've got to play with from within actual Pandadoc. From here, if I'm happy and I'm ready to send out a quote, I can actually just press create document, which will bring up the pop out model, which I can then select my template that I want to use. Simply select the template, select who's going to send it from your side and select who the client is going to be press start editing. And then by harnessing the power of integrating both Pandadoc and HubSpot, this will automatically generate the entire contract or the proposal, or it could be a sales document with all the known values that we have. So you'll see here that it's automatically pre-filled in all the actual va values for these fields that we already know. Anything that's still in yellow basically shows you that what's yet to be filled. And then you can just work through in HubSpot to fill in these details, or better yet, out of best practice, standardize these as part of your sales process. Meaning that when it goes through the earlier deal stages, ask for this information. So by the point of coming to create a contract, it can all actually sync and pull in all the actual values. From here, you'll be able to quickly scroll through and you'll be able to basically see that where the actual uh, 
signer needs to port their information, which is highlighted, in, as well as who the actual sender is as well in terms of basically who the owner is in terms of sending the quote. So making sure that the Pandadoc sender aligns with the deal owner is a top best practice tip. And from there, that's basically how to use the actual Pandadoc with HubSpot integration. It allows you to really speed up your workflow when it comes to CPQ processes and ultimately making the most of the integration. So again, just to go over some of our top tips, make sure that once it's integrated, you can actually connect and send your Pandadocs out of the... Review the actual tokens that you have in HubSpot that are available to use to make sure that you can personify and make dynamic your templates as much as possible. And moreover, standardizing these as part of the deal stages to make sure that as you go through the actual process of collecting this data, you're ultimately getting this way before you come into the point of raising a quote. As you can see, the integration will then log your actual Pandadoc quotes, whether they're in draft, whether they're sent, and it will actually log all the key milestones of part of the Pandadoc as well. So we can now see on the actual deal timeline when the document has been created, we'll be able to see when the document has been sent, and ultimately when it's been opened and viewed and how much of the actual document has been viewed by the contact that's associated with the deal as well. And that's it. That's what I wanted to go over in this quick episode of HubFuel, making the most of your Pandadoc integration with the HubSpot CRM. Until next time.